Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be working on my 2016 Cadillac ATS. It's a 2.0 all-wheel drive turbo. Um, working on the back brakes because, of course, I'm down to the metal. I do a lot of driving with this vehicle. I run Uber and Lyft. Um, so, long story short, it's going to be a quick how-to on doing rear brake pads on the 2016 Cadillac ATS. I'm pretty sure it's the same for the 2013 through... I think they stopped making them in 2018 so don't quote me on that but uh yeah i went to the cadillac dealership in wardorf maryland and the pads alone the pads alone check this out check this out a hundred and thirty dollars and nine cents i found that quite interesting because upon arrival to my home i went on amazon because i had the part number on the box checked it out amazon 22 dollars and change plus tax ranges to about 23 some change closer to 24 so they overcharged me a hundred and ten dollars for brake pads i would see if it was fifty dollars sixty at the most but a hundred and thirty dollars anyway we're just gonna jump right to it that's crazy okay to change your brakes on your cadillac ats basic tools you need is a floor jack, you need 3 8 ratchet, you need a 19 mil impact socket, deep well, a brake spreader tool to squeeze the piston back in, flathead screwdriver to pry the uh, caliper up once you loosen it. To get the caliper loose, you need a 14 mil socket. Um, of course you need brake lubricant when installing the new pads and last but not least a good old impact driver that's to get the wheel off so you start off by installing your 19 mil deep socket on your impact driver I already loosened the lug nuts but loosen your lug nuts one at a time you loosen your lug nuts place those things in a safe spot where you won't miss them I usually take the wheel off and I use my wheel as a seat ah oh, yeah put on your gloves if you want to we're not using those today you locate your caliper bolts it's one at the top usually one here at the bottom take your 3 8 ratchet and install that socket on there make sure you got it in the loose setting lefty loosey righty tighty Basically, put that on there so loosen it right on up. Go to the top, same thing. That's loose. Now I don't take the top one out. I normally just unscrew the bottom all the way out. This way your screwdriver comes in handy. You lift like so. Pry it up. It should open just like a, a door. Then boom, that's off. Uh, usually, I have two hands. I can hold this up with one hand and take the pads out with the other. But today, I only have one hand. So, I'm gonna try to do this the best I can. You see these uh, two springs? Those just lift right out. You take those out and then you slide the brake pads out. As you can see, look, I have very little material 
on my pads. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut this, pull the pins out, slide the pads out, and show you what I had. Okay, so I got the old pads out. You see, there's the old pads. There's hardly any lining on there anymore. And here's the retaining springs. Focus. All right. This is the new brakes. Part number AC Delco 171-1229. This is what you need if you have the standard rear brakes on your ATS. You need these to replace your brake pads, your worn brake pads. Get one out. This is your new pad, the new friction material, as you can see. Come on, we're getting dangerously low. Don't want to be changing rotors on one of these cars. So, anyway, let me slide everything up out of this box. The new pads come with new retain retaining springs, new shims and all. It's a GM part number 8425235. All right, and with your new pads, you get two pads that don't have the squeal sensor on it. And then you get two pads that do have the squeal sensor. That's your squeal sensor. What you wanna do is you wanna have one of these on each side and one of these on each side. Basically, when your brakes wear down to the given point, the squeal sensor touches the rotor and every time you hit your brakes, you can get that squeaking noise. That's letting you know that your brakes are due to be replaced. Okay, so when replacing the brake pads, these here are brake shims. You don't really have to change them every time unless they're damaged, because you can use brake clean, clean them up, and squeeze them up with brake lube. But uh, since mine came with the replacement shims and springs, I'm gonna go ahead and pull those right up out. You just push them up, and they should pop right up. In theory, I'm probably gonna need two hands. Nope, there we go. But yeah, they just pop right out like that. Uh, switch hands. Lift up. Uh. Okay, these are stubborn. Uh, trust the old screwdriver. There we go, just popped right out. I went from the back, popped it out. And you do the same for the top. I'm gonna cut the video, get the new shims in, grease up everything, and install the, uh, install the new pads. Okay, so the shims, the new shims are installed. There they are, focused. And I already lubed them. For your information, it's probably easier to lube them before you uh, try to install them because getting on the back sides are very complicated. I usually just use a cotton swab or a Q-tip, whatever you want to call it, and lube the outside areas. I also lube the actual brake pad itself on the frame. And basically, the brake pad should fit right in the grooves here and slide in. <clears throat> All right, so the new brakes are slid in. Like I said, you put the body of the brake pad in the little notches and slide right in. That is definitely a job you need to use both hands with. Pause. <laughs> but anyway, yes, uh, you have to use two hands, get the two pads in. And then after you get the pads in, of course, you have your retaining springs. They go in the small holes here. One right here. Put it on that side. One on the opposite side. And it pushes right in. Easy peasy. 
Do the same thing for the opposite side. I can do this. Yeah, yeah. Last thing you gotta do, or you could do it first, is push that piston in. This piston here, you gotta use that, uh, that press that I've showed you earlier in the video. And what I do is I put the old pad up against it and then install the press and then just spin it and it'll push this, it'll push this piston on in. All right guys, I've been doing all that struggling and I forgot that I had a tripod. So camera's on the tripod now and I'm gonna show you a little bit of what I got going on. So basically, I slid the new pads on into their positions, put in the uh, retaining springs, as you can see. Um, I haven't pushed the, I haven't pushed the piston back in yet. So in order to push the piston back in, you have to use this press tool here. And I use an old pad to slide in between the press tool and the piston in order to have surface to press on so basically you lift up put the old pad and so slide that right up there can you see it all right slide in between and twist that's all you have to do and to make it easier what you can do is uh, pop your hood and loosen your brake cap your brake fluid reservoir cap so it'll relieve the pressure as you're squeezing this piston back in and the reason why you're squeezing this piston in is to get clearance for when you're trying to get the caliper over the new brake pads that piston pushes out as your brakes wear down all right, that's pushed all the way in. I can slide that out, squeeze the pads together, push that right over, and voila. Put the caliper bolt back in. So I can line it up. Take your ratchet with your 14 mil, lefty loosey righty tighty. Tighten those bolts back up. They do have a torque spec, but I'm not worried about that right now. I just tighten it until it's nice and snug. Don't over tighten it. You will break those caliper bolts. Ask me how I know. <laughs> I've definitely done it once before. It was the first and last time that it ever happened. <clears throat> Once you're done, I forgot to mention this, get you some brake clean. I, used, I like to use the uh, wherever and basically shake that up, spray off all the old rust and grind. And you're all set. All right, guys, that's how you replace your rear brake pads on a 2016 Cadillac ATS. Um, if you like the video, just hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notifications of when I upload new videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.